Welcome to another edition of Bulls Hour. We're delighted to see you all here tonight yeah. for this. Our producer has a complaint. I'll tell him to rub that ointment in I gave him. No, this, no, this is from a viewer, Jimmy. Oh, I read it's this a letter. letter. Oh, right. Look at that. Oh, crikey. To the producer of Bullseye, dear sir or madam. Well, we have the same problem. We're not don't sure, we? are we? <laughs> <laughs> is it, what's this? It, I'm really fed up with the way Tony Green keeps chipping in when Jimmy's reading the prize descriptions. I think Tony Green is an absolute pain in the. Oh um, no, no, you missed a line. <laughs> oh right, yeah. yeah. Our simple descriptions out of the question. Don't, don't know what she's, she's talking about. about. Let's play Bullseye. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> How are you, Andy? Great crowd in tonight, huh? Superb audience. You should feel really great with this one. A lot better than last week's. <laughs> <laughs> now then, boys, I don't know whether you can see at home or not, but certainly our people in the audience have worked it out. These two boys are twins. Twins, eh? Well, you'd be at home in that tiny dark dressing room you had before the two of you, wouldn't you, eh? Who was born first? Andy. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Only just. Only just <laughs> first? By how long? Ten minutes. Is that all? Yeah. Oh, you really were. Mid twins, my joy, yeah. <laughs> Good gracious me. Now, you both play darts, don't you? We try. And you, you play for your mum's for your mum's pub? Yeah. You did? Because yeah. Dad died a few years ago and Mum ran the pub, didn't That's she? Right, yeah. And you play for the team? Yeah. yeah. A good support to your mum, I bet you were, weren't oh, you? Because yeah. you're two fine lads. <laughs> but very good. Nice to see you both here. I know you've been great so far. Off you go, then. We'll see you in a minute. Now then, let's move into here. Young Stuart, how are you? Hello. And Hello. Uther. Hello. Nice to see you both. And you're, you're engaged from Scunthorpe. That's right. Oh, I know Scunthorpe. And Brig. And all around there. And you're a student, Stuart. What? Was. You've just finished, haven't you? Sorry. What were you studying? I was uh, studying chemical engineering. Where at? Salford University. You did it. It's good. At the university? That's good. Right. Yeah, I was never good at chemistry. I was 17, and uh, before I discovered that H2O wasn't the second book in the telephone directory. <laughs> H2O. Uh, you, sir, you're a student. Yes, I'm still a student. Still a student. What yes. year? You're I'm going into my third year. Good girl. Um, and what are you? What are you studying? I'm studying sociology and linguistics. Sociology and linguistics? Yes. So the rehearsals this afternoon would have been an education to you, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah. Have a really good night with this youth. You Thank are you. a delightful young lady. Off you go. Who have we got here? Now then, young Stephen. Hi, How are you? Too. Welcome from over the water. Hi, Sean. Well, well, go on then, give him a little cheer. Why not? <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know. You're from Derry, Steve. I am. Yes, yeah, good. And you play a lot of darts. So a lot of and you got a world record, didn't you? Yeah, I was a member of an eight-man team that broke a million and one world record there. A few more. A few more. For charity, was it? For charity, for from Mozambique. All, yeah, you're all into that in the Isle of the charities. Sean, how are you, sir? Fine. Welcome Fine. to the show. What do you do for a living? I'm a teacher. And what do you teach? Um, head of RE in the school and also teach Sean. English. Head of religious education in this big school over there. And I do have to tell you, the rehearsals here during the day sometimes can be a bit naughty. It didn't upset you too much, did you? No, show. I just closed my ears. <laughs> you just closed your ears. <laughs> Good man. And what have you got here, Christy? I'd, like I'd like to give you that there, Jim. Well, and um, this is. Uh, 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 Harry, uh, the, I'm a member of this, this club here, and yeah. the boy says, I had to show this. Well, it's let's do it. And we'll do it there. You've got it on two. Cosh Quinn Derry. Cosh Quinn Derry. What does that say? Cosh Quinn. What's that? It's mean? just a club that I'm a member the of. There's, there's about forty or fifty clubs in the town. And now you're giving that to I'm us. I'm giving. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll keep this in. That we have souvenirs at the back. That um, all people are given. Well, the crew will keep these. Thank you very much indeed. Hope you have a good night with us, boys. Off you go, Sean. Give them a round. Of applause. Well done. Okay. Bullies category board, there it is, and you know the sort of money that can be won on that board if the couples get their act together and work well as a team. And if, of course, just to remind you at home again, I'm sure you don't need it, if the dart player hits the bullseye, he can win an incredible £200. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Questions in the first round are worth £30 each. We'll start the game of bullseye this evening. Dave, choose a subject for Andy. Faces, please, Jim. Faces, we'd like Andy. <laughs> Not, it's gone in spelling, so there's no bonus, but for £30, Dave, early days, nothing to worry about. Please spell foreign, meaning something from abroad. F O R I E G N. I can offer it. Let's offer it to Yutha. 
F O R E I G N. E I G N, an easy mistake, Dave. Never mind. Let me just check it with bullets to make absolutely sure. F O R E I G N is right. £30 bonus you've got, Yusa, and it's your turn. Choose for Stuart. I'll have showbiz, please. Showbiz we'd like, Stuart. £50. For another £30, Yusa. Who was the American director of the film Blazing Saddles? Yes, you know it. We can offer it to Sean. Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks. Yes, it was. So it's a £30 bonus for Sean, which gives you a nice start, Sean, as you choose a subject for Stephen. Uh, faces, please, John. Faces we'd like, Steve. Derry City, well, going well here. That's fine, Sean. For another £30, it's uh, a monitor time here. Look at your monitors. Whose face is that? Sean? Well, no. Sean, you are going to be disappointed, especially when you get the name. Good pal of mine, really nice fella. Come on, who was it, Youther? Tom O'Connor. Tom O'Connor, right. £30 bonus you've got. OK, gives us at the end of that round. Dave and Andy to get off the mark. Youther and Stuart with £110 and Sean and Stephen with £80. <laughs> OK, questions now, £50 each. OK, the subjects that are lit, they're the ones you can choose from. Here we go, Dave, for the round two. Sport, please, Jim. Sport we'd like. Come on, Andy. Sport we'd like. Better. £50. You're, you're on your way now, Dave. For another £50, what was the proper name of the tennis player known as Little Mo? It is before your time. Maureen Smith? It wasn't. You were right to have a stab at it. Now then, Sean. Maureen Connolly. Maureen Connolly. Yes, good, that's fine. Not to be confused... Well, it doesn't matter. We're not confusing it with anything. There we are. You've got a £50 bonus. Move on. Youther. Affairs, please, Jim. Affairs we'd like. £50. For another £50, Youther. What is the name of the worldwide human rights movement which works to release prisoners of conscience and campaigns against torture. Mm. You should know that, my love, as a student. Mm. Well, <coughs> there he is. We've given you a good run there. Come on, Sean. Amnesty International. Amnesty International. Right. Did you not know that, Youth? Do you not know? I mean, you, not even now, you didn't come back no. to you. Amazing. Never mind. £50 bonus for you, Sean. You're looking good, old son. Come on. Uh, books, please, Jim. Books we like. Books we like. Doesn't, does it? £50 you've got. For another £50, Sean, in one of Oscar Wilde's novels, the central character stays young whilst his portrait ages. What's the title? Uh, Dorian Gray, or the portrait of Dorian Gray. Right, we'll take it for £50. Had it been 100 we wouldn't, but for £50, in fact, it's the picture of picture, Dorian Gray. Right. OK, well done, Sean, fine. Gives us the scores at the end of that round. Dave and Andy with £50, Youther and Stuart with £160, and our two boys from Derry and London Derry, Sean and Steve, with £280. <laughs> OK. Still all to play for. £100 a question, if you get it right. And it's up to your partners now to get the subject you choose as we go into places, history, Words and Britain, and the categories have all gone round the subjects, so the pressure's on the dark player. What do you think, Dave? Words, please, Jim. Words we'd like. Come on, Andy. <laughs> £30. For another £100, Dave, what does a haematologist study? Blood. Blood is right. They're such vain people. Right. <laughs> Dave, that's fine, you've got £180. That's good. Uther and Stuart. I'll try history, please, Jim. Try history, Stuart. We'd like history. £50. For another £100, Uther. In 1483, after placing his two nephews in the Tower of London, the Duke of Gloucester was de declared king. Which king was he? Hmm. Edward II. Dave. Edward I. No. In fact, it was Richard III. It's not the 
light had gone on there, Sean, but don't worry about it. You were right to try it on. It's only the one we offer. So it was Richard III. None of you get anything there. We move on, and it's Sean for Steve. Um, can I have places, please, Joe? Places. Places we want, Stephen. £30. Very sensible. Didn't take any chances there, did he? Well done there, Steve. Sean, what is the capital of Cuba? Havana. Havana is right. Gives you another £100. £180 for Dave and Andy. £210 for Youth and Stuart. £410 for Sean and Steve. We've got to say cheerio to the twins, Dave and Andy. <laughs> Side, well, well done. Well done. No problem. Well, you're doing well there, but they were playing well, weren't they? They were playing well. You've got 180 pounds here. There's 100. I'll take 20 off that to release 80 pounds there. Put that in your pocket, boys. That's 90 piece, you know. All right. Fair shares for all. Have you... Keep your eye on the game, boys, because you know how it can sometimes go. Thanks, Andy. Thank you. Thank you. One pair gone. Another pair sadly got to go in the next three or four minutes because it's it's um, direct confrontation here. Real test of dart skill, really, at the, the end of the day, because it's uh, it's questions they're trying to win for their partners. And the value of the question is the winning score in three rounds. So, boys, it's pounds for points. Stuart, up to the hockey. Steve, come and stand with me and listen to Tony. OK, Stuart, get your mark. First round, off we go. Trouble five. Nineteen. And Nineteen, which is fifty-three. Fifty-three to be, Stephen. Twenty. Twenty. Another twenty, sixty, which takes the first round, Jim. It, it's seven. <laughs> Question for you, Sean. It's worth £60. From which country does the drink tequila come? Sure. Mexico. Mexico's right. Gets you £60. Makes it £210, playing 470 Back to Tony. Second round. Stuart's a throw. It's five. Treble 20. Another 20. 85. Well done, Stuart. Eighty-five to be. Twenty. Twenty. And twenty sixty. So the second round to Stuart. You th <laughs> question for you now. It's worth eighty-five pounds. Ian can get you within, you know, snapping distance, doesn't it? Who was the first man to perfect a phonetic system of shorthand writing? Pittman. Pittman is right. Not to be. To be confused with the frenetic pitman Arthur Scargill. Very good. <laughs> so we're looking at uh, 295 pounds, playing 470 back to Tony. Final round. Stuart throwing. 20. Seven. And 19. 46. 46 to be Stephen. 20. 20. We played it safe. 11, 51, which takes the final round. Sure. Well for £51, for £51. You're safe anyway, but for £51, so it's, it's worth making an effort on this show. <laughs> right. How did Dr Christian Barnard create medical history in 1967? Um. Heart transplant yes, in right. South Africa. Performed the first human heart transplant is right. Gives us the scores there. £295 playing 520-21. The boys from over the water are with us in the final. Our two students, Hugh and Stuart, got to say cheerio. Well done. All right. Now, I've got to say, I'd be rather proud of you and my youngsters. You really have acquitted yourselves very well. Goblet there for you, you to take home. Tanker for you, sir. And your bullies, which are worth £1,000 each on the stock market. <laughs> £295 you need. All right, I'll count this out now. It will take me a couple of minutes. See you in the second half after a couple of <laughs> Here we go. 
Glenn Saley now, men. Glenn Saley now, isn't it? But you looked after him today, haven't you? Oh, yes. Kept an eye on this fellow. It's still, I can still see the school teacher relationship there. You know, kept, he wanted to go out for a drink, didn't you? We wouldn't let him yeah, go out. He's straight in there. And he's, he's done well as a result of it, hasn't he? Right, so far. Well, no problem now. You're not going to get a drink now till the end, I promise you. Now, you've got some supporters in tonight, haven't we? Look at Oh, yes, sir. Six, I think. Six. Go. Come on, yeah. come on, with that's great. Is your wife with you? No, no, she's, she's not. not. No, she's not. No, she's not with you. Fine. Did, I mean, did, you are married, though, aren't you? Oh, I'm, oh, I'm married. <laughs> my uh, sister in law's here. My oh, wife's sister. Oh, she's. she's when did you meet your wife? I met her in the library of the university oh, in, yeah. in Derry. She was determined not to be left on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think her sister would like it. No, I'm I sure she know. wouldn't. She's in this centre. I'll oh, have yes. to answer to her after oh, yes, Well, we're delighted you're, you're doing so well, really. It's really nice. It's not your turn now, though, just for a couple of minutes. Give you a chance to relax. It's bronze bully time, charity time, a bit of the show that the nation really do enjoy because he's earned a lot of money over the years, as this fella. We've got a guy tonight, one of the up-and-coming stars in the world of darts. He's rated number eight in Great Britain. He really is a live wire. We hope he does very well tonight. First time on Bullseye as he throws for charity... Chrissy Johns. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, Chrissy. Best of luck. It's one. Treble twenty. And five. Sixty six. Let's take your time. <laughs> Treble 20. 20. And 20, 100. Well done, son. <laughs> Still three to go, Chris. Treble 20. Treble 20. Yes. And 20, 140. <laughs> 306. Well done, son. Well done. Well done. Good to see you around there. Good morning. Uh, 612 pounds you've got there for challenge. Oh, you're thrilled to bits with that, aren't you? Great. Because the silence, isn't there, when you're doing it? We're all, so. we were all there. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. We're delighted. First time on Bullseye, 612 pounds. Where's the money got? Are you going to tell us, Sean? Yes, it's going to a place called Columba House. It's a house of prayer and reconciliation between Catholics and Protestants in Derry. Good man. Good man. That, well, that is that's super. That really oh, is yes. excellent. Right. We're delighted about that. Uh, keep this man in control for a minute whilst I speak to this man. How's your future looking, Chrissy? It's looking good now, Fabley. It's been looking good after this when this goes so out to a little bit, won't it? That's it's mad. Good, yeah. Thanks very much indeed for, yeah. uh, on behalf of the boys, for £612. Thank you very much. What's going to happen now? Oh, dear, dear, dear. Let's have a look. Let's get on with it whilst the ball's running with us. Let's see what Bullish Prize Board has got for you tonight. Here we go. Come on. In one. When time is precious, so is this. It's a microwave oven. In two. Complete with demijohns. What are they? Short long johns? No, they're bottles you burk. It's a wine making kit. In three. Perfect sounds will abound all around with this stylish music centre. In four. For youngsters who want to get it all together, it's a construction set. In five. Do you go in for records? I've broken a few. Yeah, well, you love winning £100 worth. In six. Splash out at home with this fizzy drinks maker. In seven. Do you like to be brown? No, I'm quite happy being green. No tan brown, you idiot. You can be on this super sunbed. In eight. You'll be as sharp as a bullseye host with this useful trouser press. And bully's special prize. Night and day, this is the one. It's a sofa bed. All right, there you go. <laughs> Boys, we, uh, we do have a little smile when we do the prizes, you know, just to lighten things a little bit. The nine marvellous prizes. Keep out of the black and in the red. Nothing in this game for two in a bed. The lights are there to help you. It's the red sectors are where the prizes are. All right, nine darts you've got, nine prizes to be won. All the best. Off you go, Steve. Listen to Tony. OK, Stephen, forget the nerves now. You're there. Best of luck. Red, number one. That's the mi microwave oven. Black. And black. It's all right. Still three to go. OK, Sean. 
Red, number three. That's fine. That's the music centre. Oh, be careful. And black. So, Come Stephen, on. still three to go. Take your time. That's red. It's number eight. Well done. That's the trouser press. Oh, you've lost it. Be careful, you're rushing. Bullseye! You've got it. That's well done. Well done. <laughs> right. Well done. Now, boys, let's have a look at what you've won. You've won the compact microwave. The Music Centre and Bully's special prize, that lovely sofa bed. <laughs> You've done very well. Come on. <laughs> OK, right, now then, your money, £521, you take home with you. The 612 is off to that uh, unit in, in your hometown. Superb, that, £621, Chrissy John's got you. It's your prizes. You've got there three, and they are good prizes. Would you like to gamble those prizes against tonight's star prize? Hiding behind Bully there. 101 or more with six darts. Non-dark player first, and then yourself, Steve. You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell us what you'd like to do. Talk about it. I don't know if they decided. Are you going to help them decide? What would you do? Gamble! 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 What are you doing? The sword flying on the arm, so we'll have a go. You're going to give it a try. All right, sure. You go first, and then Steve. Come on. Best of luck. <laughs> Oh, good morning, more. more. This is tonight's Seven. star prize. Everybody's with you. There's no rush. Just take your time. Best of luck. That's nine. Eleven. Another nine. So that's 29 scored. 72 or more, Stephen, for tonight's star prize. Five. Twenty. Oh, unlucky. Very hard luck. The boys. gamble lost, Steve. I've got to say to you, boys, just have a look at what you would have won. Have a look at that. Come on. Well, yeah, there it is, one of Britain's most popular small cars. It's a Metro City. Economical motoring. Oh, dear me. Never mind. No, it's not the end of the world, because here you've got your tankered seat. There's your money, £521. And you've got your two bullies there. Take those home with our compliments. Thanks for the pleasure you've given us, and I'm sure all our viewers at home, you've been a credit to Over the Water. God bless you. Thanks very much for playing again. Thanks very much indeed. Thanks for watching Bullseye at Home. We're sorry for the two boys here, but uh, we've had a great day with everyone down here in the studio. Thanks for watching Bullseye. What about Chrissy Johns? £612 for the boys. That's been more than worth the while coming in here. Watch us next week on Bullseye, because remember, you can't beat a bit of bull. Bye. <laughs>